this tutorial I'm going to go over the assignment number 43 which is due on Monday by 10 in the morning I'm giving you a step by step scaffolding because it is due on Monday 10 a.m. I want you to come to the classroom with full understanding or at least more than zero percent understanding to discover to combine kinematics which describes the motion and dynamics which explains the motion to discover Sir Isaac Newton third law which is of course F A B is equal to F B A of course opposite in direction. Uh, now in this problem uh, I will do a vertical jump in order to do vertical jump because every single human walk on the surface of the earth we are kind of elevator we are kind of attitude machine we can create acceleration to jump up right to do this one you already seen this equation when we solve the attitude machine problem now in order to jump up we need to crouch our knees I'm going to crouch uh, my knees and my knees will quickly accelerate and send me to the vertical direction let's do it over there jumping upward for 0.8 meter my knee crouches accelerate for 0.2 meter long because my knee crosses for 0.2 meter. All right, so let's solve the problem. Problem, the first part is uh, finding the initial velocity. Okay, initial velocity, how can we find the initial velocity? Uh, Vf squared is equal to Vi squared plus 2ad. Uh, what we are trying to do when I jump right when I jump of course I'm going to come back because my velocity would be less than the escape velocity escape velocity is 7 mile per second if I jump up 7 mile per second then I will not make a parabola I'll go like this or since I jump up as you saw over there me jumping up creating a parabola is because I cannot jump up with that much velocity okay how much velocity did I jump oh, well let's find out uh, bf squared then has to be zero right okay why because at that point my velocity has to be zero or right, zero the square is equal to b a square is that what we are trying to find um, plus two we're going to use negative 10 and d is uh, as you uh, as we measure it 0.8 meter that's the vertical uh, jump so v square put the initial v initial square is uh, 2 times 20 times uh, 100 uh, 160 and the decimal move the decimal one place to the left so 16 so b initial is 4 meter per second all right 4 meter per second okay now we have to find the acceleration how can we find the acceleration before we find how much force i have to apply to the ground and how much force ground applied to my feet to send me up all right let's find the acceleration vf squared is equal to vi squared plus 2ad what happened when i uh, so i crouches my knee for 0 0.2 meter that means i accelerate uh, for that long time how much I accelerate for that long time? Let's find it out. Over here, 
over here, my velocity is, of course, zero. Initial velocity is zero. My final velocity is, of course, we found it. This becomes our final velocity, uh, four. So let's go over there. Uh, four squared is equal to zero squared plus two. We're gonna find acceleration. D is because I accelerate for point two. All right, I'm gonna bring this over here. 0.4a is equal to 16. a is equal to 16 over 0.4. So 160 over 4, 40 meter per second square. A lot. Now, let's find the Newton. Uh, so how much uh, the ground uh, push me for, uh, push me to the upward direction? I want how the ground push me upward direction. So let's draw a free body diagram. So this is mg and this is of course app push. Uh, I usually draw a box but this time I'm drawing this so you understand that uh, mg has to be less than app push. Remember this you can think of as tension force Tension force has to be greater than what? Uh, has to be greater than M1G, remember? Otherwise, the counterweight will not be uh, accelerating uh, to the upward direction. Uh, if F push is not bigger than, uh, bigger than uh, MG, uh, then it will not be accelerating upward. The only reason you are accelerating upward, Mr. Bari accelerated upward, and made a vertical jump of 0.8 meter is because, of course, uh, the net force is to the upward direction, accelerating is upward direction, therefore, F push must be bigger than mg. Of course, we do instead our calculation with Newton's second law, you put uh, sigma, you write all the forces F push minus mg is equal to ma. F push or you can write F, F P is equal to M G plus M A. F push is equal to M G plus A. Hey, as I said that every single human being is kind of an elevator or attitude machine. Uh, this is the equation that we derived other day on Thursday and the day before, the, yeah, the yesterday in the classroom. Uh, so now you see this equation again. This time is for you, uh, or for me, for that matter. I'm 86 kilogram, G is 10, uh, and acceleration is 40. Uh, 86 times 50, I don't know, 4300, uh, this must Newton. 